Hello friends! Welcome to my channel, or back to my channel, as the case may be. We are on day 22 of our 1001 tarot readings. This week we are going to be using the Mythos Tarot to answer our, our spreads, and its tagline is Guidance from the Greek Gods. So in addition to having the context of the tarot, they've assigned each of the cards to one of the various Greek gods and as such adds a little more background to each card. Today's reading answers the question, should you take up art slash creative writing your side hustle as full-time employment, or have you not established yourself enough yet and need to hang on to your day job? This is a two-card reading using the full tarot deck. Let's get into it. So this reading is for when you do have artistic talents that you want to pursue, that you believe you can make money off of, and it's to determine, is now the right time for that? Have you sufficiently developed your talents? Have you sufficiently developed an audience that you can transition to full-time creative work rather than maintaining a day job? So that is the situation for this reading. It's a two-card reading. So unlike the other two card readings, this is not a compare contrast. This is just, here's the meaning from these two cards. So we're going to shuffle this up and we will find out what it has to say for this particular spread. Again, these are all just sample spreads. If you happen to be questioning this, uh, go ahead and think on your individual situation. but. This is kind of educational, this is kind of entertainment, it's exploring different spreads and how you can use tarot. Alright, so our two cards. Interesting. Okay, both showed up reversed, first off. Um, so we have the Seven of Cups reversed for our first card, uh, who is represented by the god Hesperus. And then we have, for our second card, the Three of Coins, reversed, and that is the Morai. So for the Seven of Cups, usually it represents choices, options. Being reversed, in this case, I would say hang on to the day job. You, you've still got, particularly since both cards are reversed, and both cards have to do with choice. Although three of coins is, I mean, it's still choice. Get, we'll get there. So seven of cups is about choices being reversed. It's that there's not really a choice here. Keep the day job, keep supporting yourself as you continue building your talents. It's interesting with the input of the Greek god that attached to this card, uh, Hesperus, or Hes. Hesperus. I'm sorry, I don't speak Greek. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Being reversed in this deck, they refer to it as fallen because it's on the theme. Hesperus is the god of the evening star. He is a guide at night. Being in the reversed position, the guide is not there. So the additional context I would provide here is it's not just that you need more time to develop your, ta your talents, your skills. It's learn how to make a successful business. Learn how to turn your artistic endeavors into something others value. Now on to the second card for the Three of Coins. The Three of Coins represents collaboration, working together, which, I mean, picking the Morai for this is, is a perfect fit because they are the fates. They are the three-in-one goddess, goddesses, uh, who direct the fate in Greek mythology. Being, being reversed, it's that there is not the support for you at this time if you were to try to exclusively go to your creative endeavor to to take care of yourself, to, to make money. So the context of the Morai is interesting in this case because 
they are three separate entities who only function together in the Greek myth. While they have independent personalities across the three of them, you never see them separate. Part of this answer of not now is find your group, find your team. Find those who will support you through this endeavor rather than just strike off on your own and potentially lose. I don't want to say potentially lose. It will be a lot more of a struggle if you try to do this alone. No man is an island and all that. There is the reading number 22. If you're enjoying this content, please leave a like, comment, and if you really liked it, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.